Hey, I'm Dark Lord. Hope you all are doing well. Today we'll be playing the Lantern Ride quest. So let's go. All right. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Wow. This looks nice. This is exactly how I remember the last couple of ones. There's firecrackers. Oh, it's Kaching. Charlotte? I never oh, wait a minute. See you two together. Oh, yeah, wasn't she here last time? Right? Nice to see Actually, you again, I don't Traveler and Paimon. I don't, think, I don't think she was in Lantern, right? She was just in other nations. Well, it was for a TCG thing, right? Oh, we're not interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing oh, a kite. Kites? Nice. A kite? Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? Well, yes. And... <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this oh. year's Lantern Rite is kites. Oh, so that's why Paimon has seen so many floating in the sky. Liyue Harbor is always changing. Oh, that actually looks so nice. So it is only fitting that Lantern Rite should change in turn. The Qixing believes it would benefit Liyue to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. Yeah, remember my business meeting with Tian Chuen Ningguang the last time I was in Liyue Harbor? That's what it was about! But oh, I don't remember. all I really did was use my network to well, introduce long time Lady Ningguang to some interesting people. I'm not sure that quite counts as fostering cooperation. In the end, we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical <laughs> lifting device. What is that name? Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. Uh, but don't kites just use the wind to fly? Why would you need to add something mechanical? Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly yeah. like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Oh, not the medaka. Experience doesn't I matter at that, that point. Catch. Exactly. Uh. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans, after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? Plus, the easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. Right? I also thought it was a novel idea. Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Our new mechanical kites are already available to purchase oh. from a stall in the harbor. A whopper flower. We're having trouble keeping up <laughs> with demand. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. We didn't I wonder if we'll be able to craft these like the Shao traditional kite. Cool. I wonder if Kaching is going to wear her skin again. I mean, outfit. Toys? They're not exactly <laughs> toys. You see, Miss Kuching, that does seem to be everyone's first reaction. Hmm. Although kites are one of our most time honored cultural relics. Outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I suppose they're considered playthings yeah. more than anything now. But to me, there's so much more than that. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. It is this slight piece of paper that also carries the weight of Liyue's cultural traditions. There's an old poem that goes, O oh, kite born of paper, flying true and sound, a lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. Wait, where's the rest of the words? <laughs> okay. Send them love, send them word, send them homeward bound. All right. In the past, poets from Liyue used kites to symbolize a feeling of longing or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. Yeah. That's the coaching we know. Always thinking five steps ahead of anyone else. Well said, Miss Kuching. 
I've learned quite a bit myself. <laughs> as long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. For example, whenever a kite blew away, people would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take it away as an offering. Yeah. That way, you can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. What about something more fun? Do you know anything <laughs> like that? More fun? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one of our precious forms of traditional craftsmanship. My grandfather told me that, back when he was a boy, children learned the art of kite making step by step from their elders. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo to construct oh, bamboo. the frame. Then, you draw yeah. a design of your choice on a piece of paper, paste it onto the frame, and tie on the string. Ah, that's it. Then, you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites, cut the string, and let them fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. Hmm. Well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly typically symbolize freedom, happiness, or the desire to break free. Fascinating. What else can you tell me? The scissored-tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful times. Oh, is that the one? Different colors also have small variations in meaning. There's like one of Are the J chambers. Are these commonly understood <laughs> meanings and symbols in Liyue? Kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. Hmm, I believe so. Most have probably heard something about it from their elders at some point. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, I have several books yeah, on the topic that I could lend you. They could be a useful reference. That would be a huge help! Great! Looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. What is Paimon cooking? Hope it goes well. Perfect! We're gonna take a look around! Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. Oh? I almost forgot. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Rite. Oh. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. I wonder if the we can make one. Simple. Whoever like flies the kite the stuff. highest and furthest within the time limit will receive a special <laughs> honor along with a secret prize. Secret prize? I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the event. I can see the spectacle already. We've got it in the bag. <laughs> Maybe tone it down a bit, Traveler. <laughs> what if we don't win? It's better to keep a low profile until the competition starts. Then we'll give them a show they never saw coming. All right, Pyle. Oh, that secret prize is ours. Then I'll look forward to seeing your performance. You bet. See you then. Wait, Traveler, take a peek to your right. Do you see those two people lurking over there? Yeah, I see them. Is it just Ooh. Paimon? Oh, these or guys? Are they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? Hmm, they seem fishy. The G thing do attract a lot of attention. Huh. Well, yes, but something's up. I wonder Paimon if the Patui couple are feeling. here. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They always seem to be stirring <laughs> up trouble during Lantern Rite. Yeah. Oh, I'm on sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know. Foil yeah, their let's just go and kill them. Begin. Just to you be go safe. Right. Will go left. You know? Wait, Paimon. Oreos bask in spring, heaven's present auspices. Is that how you say it? I don't know. The, these umbrellas look really pretty. These are the, the these are the not the lanterns kites. Is he gonna sell it? I don't think so, right? Wait, what is this? We got a jade fragment. I don't think that was a oh. lantern right thing. 
Oh, question mark. It is with such an air of urgency that you appear before us. Your comportment suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous <laughs> crime. Perhaps you, you can tell that as to your just from looking. Whoa, where did this funny duddy come from? Funny duddy. You should be the one doing the enlightening, buddy. Don't think we didn't notice you eavesdropping. One look and we could tell you were up to no good. Tell us everything, starting with your name. Uh. Okay. One Why that eyes? No red eyes. Secrets before two such as yourselves. You stand in the presence oh, of the mighty what the and hell? illuminated Adeptus. Moon Carver. Moon Carver. For the purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address Ho one Zhang. as Ho Jong. Wait, these are the, the, the two other Adepti? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could just lie about it as well, right? You may want to hold your tongue, Paimon. <laughs> Don't think that Paimon is going to believe you just because you know her name. Let Paimon guess. You're supposed to be mountain shaped. <laughs> Why do you look like he's about to cry? Indeed. But that's just how his eyes Moon look. Moon and myself have descended upon the mortal realm for a visit. Are these actually them? The two of you Why do they call me Jin? Uh. Huh. Looks like you did your research. But in our experience... They look like the NPCs, but with a little bit of flair. We've got a big fish on our hands. We'll go straight to the Lilith and have you arrested <laughs> for impersonating a death guy. There's no way. Is it actually preposterous. them? Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. There's no way. We got... You're telling me we got Cloud Retainer and how pretty she looks. And then we the other two guys just get these NPC++ design. Really? They just look... This is just the normal NPC model. It's just They just add a little bit of color to it and... That's it. There's no way this is them, right? If you really are who you claim to be, perhaps you can prove it. Right. Tell us something that only an adeptus would know. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. <sighs> During the last lantern rite, we gathered at Mount Hulao with Rex Lapis and made use of Cloud Retainer's Supreme oh. Cuisine Machine to prepare bamboo shoot soup. Perhaps you have some recollection? The flavor of that soup was more than enough to whet one's appetite. As such, Cloud Retainer assented to my use of the device beyond that singular occasion, providing other recipes to boot. Since then, one has dabbled in the pleasures of the culinary arts whenever time allows. Dabbled? Upon one's last sojourn to your mountain, did you not immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk of amber as soon as one's presence was known? <laughs> uh... Uh, did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? Wait, this it is, is actually how you them? To repay that kindness? Bro. One is simply trying to emphasize the veracity of our claim. Why do they have to give them that NPC designs? That does not reveal personal matters so readily. They might think one bears no difference from Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Forget it. One does not have the breath to waste on such petty trifles. I guess they are the Adepti, uh. yeah. That might have been more detail than we needed. Seems like you two are the real deal, and I'm on sorry for suspecting you. <laughs> but, uh, for beings as forgiving as yourselves, this is just water <laughs> under the bridge, right? Few people will be able to see through it. I mean, yeah. You indeed have an agile mind. Blend in quite well among the NPCs. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. I'm still curious about something. It's just. Understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but why did you decide to come to the city, Moon Carver? It's not really your thing, is it? Hmm. <sighs> it is but an inevitable eventuality. Long have the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainer's move. Oh, to Cloud Liyue Retainer. Oh, yeah, right. She did move with here. Lantern right near at hand. One would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed to appear. <laughs> She's busy now. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful sort. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action. And since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue Harbor, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid. Cloud Retainers, in this case. But a moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. 
Now, oh yeah, I guess uh, she's probably involved in making the tides, huh? Huh. So, you're not looking for Cloud Retainer anymore? Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque to young Paimon. Given one's understanding, one can only imagine the anger that now consumes her. Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. One can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind that she regards oh. the arrival of Oh, wait, it's not her. It's, it's not Fontaine, right. One surmises that she has shut herself away, refused all company, I see. and buried herself so in she's the study probably of her studying own creations. To call on her would the only Fontaine? invite her rebuke. Mechanics? However, if you That'd do really happen cool. to cross paths with her over the next few days, do pass along one's regards. Sure, leave it to us! Have a safe trip back, enjoy the scenery, and happy lantern ride! I guess now that Thank Cloud Retainer is here. Kind words. We shall now depart. The whole Ito training under Cloud Retainer for the beetle thing now seems a lot more we likely, right? Nothing, huh? Now that she's in the all city and, and not in the mountains. We knew all along. Well, it's still pretty early. Let's head over and check out the kite stalls. Paimon wants to see what kinds of kites we can buy to use in the competition. I wonder what the minigames are this year this lantern right? I hope it's not the the million fetch quest like the first one. <laughs> Alright. Uh, welcome! Yeah, are the two of you looking to buy a kite? Would you like me to go over the different designs? I would like to, yeah. Ooh, a city kill swallow! And a butterfly! And oh! Oh? Uh. This yep, Jay Chamber <laughs> design is our newest. It's been selling like crazy. Over yeah, the past I can days. imagine. Does it also have a unique meaning? Of course. The Jade Chamber symbolizes wealth and abundance. The kite yeah. bearing its design is said to bring riches in the future to those who fly it. Oh, now that's Paimon's kind of kite. I apologize for the interruption. Long Joe. Oh, wears in order, Miss Genuine. Oh, yes, yes, they're just over there. The paper, bamboo, and dyes. All the necessary kite-making materials. Wonderful. I'll pack them up and get a guard to deliver the goods to Yilong Wharf for you. Yilong Wharf? Oh, wonder what that place is like during Lantern Ride. Paima would love to go take a look. Is that in Chen Yuel? Well, if the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then could like I trouble at all. you to find Gaming and deliver these goods together? Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, considering he's asking us to is go. Gaming the guard you just I mentioned? guess this quest will introduce us to Chen Yuel. Well, yes. And, uh, and Gaming. Gaming. Shipments and transports around Liyue. I know it's he Gaming, but I just like calling him Gaming. One of our sub -organizations. Uh, the problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Lantern Rite to spend time with their families. So, our available workforce has seen a dramatic decrease recently. If you were willing to help out, then I could get a head start on my next appointment. You do seem really pressed for time. Sure, let's do uh special Of quests. course, of course. Hard work deserves ample rewards. Ten primo gems. Now, at this let's time go. Of day, coming should be somewhere in the vicinity. But just follow the main road until you see the head of a Wusho dance costume. Should be on your right. Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite. I'll even give you a discount. All right. What constellation is my gaming? Crazy. Is C one is C one gaming worth building if I already have D Wook for plunge? I'm not sure. People say yeah, C six is really good. I think I'll, I'll just keep him as is for now. There. Oh. <laughs> she just Wait, I thought we had an agreement. into the loser buys dinner some tomorrow. <laughs> Look at you, scowl like that for much longer, and your face might stay that way. Hey now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation, and I'll pay. His voice just uh, sounds no way, exactly Gami. how I expected it to sound. Well, the hair looks have... amazing from behind. I'm not behind. trying to be a sore loser. I just like the colors. Didn't expect you to come Black from behind to win like that. <laughs> that was nothing. All in a day's work, friend. He looks like an anime protagonist. Like, actually. Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. 
We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who needs you to deliver some goods to Elon Wharf. Oh, that must have been Longjo. Looks like I've got work. We gotta go. Sure, go do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. What the hell is that floating thing? This? <laughs> Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. Walk like five steps. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It's just some kite making materials. Yeah. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Kite making materials. I see. I see. I'm oh, glad it wasn't eyes. too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you. It's like the ring light. Ah, and you must be the traveler. <laughs> the ring light effect. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. But it's just that's just how huh? his eyes look all the you time. You know us? I mean, who doesn't know us? <laughs> there probably aren't many in Liyue who yeah. don't. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard quite a bit about you two. You're quite well known around these parts. Yeah, especially oh, new. We've done a lot of shit. If you forgot to thank you, uh, take my thanks in his place. He's a good guy. He's just been super busy lately, running around from place to place. Don't no be worries. too hard on him, yeah. So, you here for lantern, right? Yeah. yeah. It's always so lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elon Wharf and have a look around. Perfect. We'll go together then. All right, let's I'm good go. With directions, so just follow me. Trust me. I know my way around. We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. We can stop and grab a bite when it's time. The ingredients are fresh, the portions are generous, and the prices won't break the bank. You can order anything, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Order anything? Paimon seems to be drooling already. Hey, did you really have to call Paimon out like that in front of our new friend? Yep. <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends too. It just shows how close you are. Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. Nope, our things are always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel <laughs> experts at this point. Oh, that's right. Then let's get going. If we run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect you. I am a guard after all. Oh, what not? What's the Oh, I guess we unlocked the mini games now. Wow, very, very pretty. Yao Yao and Shang Ling and Goba. Who is this? Oh, it's gaming. And uh, Shen Yun, Cloud Retainer. So yeah, she definitely is I'm most likely gonna have a big role in the main quest, the main event quest. The docks are just a bit further. One step at a time. Hang in there. All right. Wait. Where did they come from? <laughs> I'll handle this. Oh wait, we have uh, a gaming. Oh, I hit the wrong key. Are they gonna be even alive? All right. I mean. All right. 35k, that, I don't think that was even a wave. Many happy returns. I have no idea how to play him. That was just messy. Just burn <laughs> Just burn like all that really grass. Can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? Yeah. Yeah. It's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. I was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's oh. just a hobby. Have you ever heard of wushou dancing? No. Really? Wushou dancing is famous in Chenyu Vale. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday oh. season. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. I'm also well aware that people in Liyue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch wushou dancing. Oh, I see. So, it's not something I do full time. Huh? You have two jobs? Damn. How do you have the energy to do all that? <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Not really. 
Just yesterday, I stayed Bruh. up all night playing cards. <laughs> Oh. Damn. Uh. Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. He do be gaming. All right. Are these the docks? Yeah. Gaming, gaming. Walks forward and exchanges a few words with a boatman near the docks. The next thing you know, he's called for everyone to board a bamboo raft. Finally, we what the rest. hell? <laughs> oh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff. Oh, that looks so scuffed. So sorry, sorry. Did I push it looks the pace so a bit too scuffed, much? dude. I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Leo is just too hilly. Floating up that it is down, too hilly. So I do agree with that. Paimon out? Oh, Paimon was finally satisfied, and now her poor stomach's empty again. Aw, would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. Yes, Paimon will take all you got. Uh, you might want to pace yourself there, or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Paimon never gets too full. Just like... Oh, just like you apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Nice. Enjoy. And here's some for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. I'll just set it to the side here for you. Gaming seems like a real people person. He can get along with anyone and he treats every person he meets like a close friend. Yeah? <sighs> this is honestly yeah, pretty chill, spot. regardless of how scuffy it looks. She was going to starve to death for a minute there. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places, whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? <laughs> really, I won't be offended. It's okay. Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter-chatter. <laughs> Aw, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> hey, Paimon could be in a good mood anytime she wants. You slowly lose yourself in the beauty of the surrounding scenery. Before you know it, you are greeted by the sight of Yilong Wharf. Nice. We're here. Don't forget your things and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft, or you're in for a swim. There's like three people. Four. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. Oh. Skyward! Scatter! Uh... Um, oh, is this the elevator? Oh, oh my! <laughs> okay, oh, it wasn't there. I was like, wait a minute, where am I supposed to go? Okay, <laughs> I just phased through it. This is uh, this is pretty nice, right next to a waterfall. This is pretty. Yeah, skyward. Hey, I slow down. I'm begging you. Oh. What is it? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? Oh well. Uh, how should I put it? Spit it out! 
Do you see that group of people over there? Huh? Those are my relatives. All of them? Wow. You sure have a big <laughs> What the hell? Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. Oh, this is bad. They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Unless. Oh, did you <laughs> what are those eyes? Horrible to them? No, it's not that. I'm just not that good at dealing with my Damn. family. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. It's going to be a stealth mission. <laughs> I'll explain more when we have the chance, but right uh, now, we've got a job to do. No way. No way. Tell me I'm wrong. Mm, oh my god, it is actually a... Go <laughs> Why? Wins the race. Gaming Scranny. <laughs> What the hell? Why is this a stealth mission? Bro, is it really that big of a deal? What are we doing here? <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my god. I did not expect there to be a stealth mission. I'm trying to avoid your family. I mean, we don't have the dodge. Uh, not the dodge. The roll option. Let's wait here for a second. Oh, and the crouch option that we usually get. Gaming's ant. Nice. Germinate. She's gone. Let's go. The music's going hard. The, not not very Turn stealth mission in. To the right, and uh. wow, you guys are good. I'm impressed. Bruh. That was nothing. It was a piece of cake. Oh, winter melon cake to be exact. <laughs> you really liked it, huh? Ooh, you know what? I'll buy you a whole bunch and pile them so high you can swim in them. As long as you don't wind up drowning, Paimon! <laughs> hey, Uncle Jirigoy. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. So, I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? Yes. Thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll oh. prepare some tea. No need. We'll be off soon anyway. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songwa tea stash around here somewhere. Oh. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. Anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jirgui. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave this to me. Bro's always I have to be working, up and about dude. to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. No, oh, nice. You notice what Paimon likes? How long have you two known Gaming? Like five minutes. <laughs> oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yuan Wharf. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends, you know, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort, really knows how to look after his own. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work, said his joints were hurting due to the rain. Gaming personally went all the way to Bubu Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then traveled Damn. through the night to deliver it back to him. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? I mean, there is his dad, but... Well, ask anyone else. Mm -hmm. Uncle Yongzan says he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Ah, it feels like we've troubled you enough already. It's kite-making materials, though. It could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Ring. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. The refreshing aroma and ninja ring... I couldn't read All that. Right, then, I'm sure it would nice. Ooh, are you free in two days? 
How about we grab some dim sum from Shinya Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. Whoa, that's way too generous of you. Oh, is that uh, the don't expensive mention place? It. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides the thing between me and oh, my damn. family. It's oh, he's going to have a sad backstory, story, isn't he? It might take some time to tell. Oh, dear. Sounds good. Paima never says no to free food. See you at Shinue Kiosk, then. All Sorry right, for butchering that. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Is he underestimating Paimon? <laughs> She's just going to have to show him how much she can really eat. <laughs> What's that zoom in on her anyway, uh, tummy? Is Gamin's family situation really that complicated? Yeah, what's going he's on? He's such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. Hmm. How should I put it? Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. You seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. Sure, I if guess we'll find out. Time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. Huh? It can say, we provide aid in spades. I mean, and sure. We can advertise <laughs> our services, right? Okay. Well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Wait, seriously? <laughs> I'm almost just joking. But if you're going to get us something, she'd much rather have winter melon cake instead. Okay, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. Would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. Sure. No thanks. We came all this way and still haven't gotten a chance to look around the wharf. We should see the kinds of kites they got. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Liyue Harbor. Sure. All right then. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. Akados. Got some more tea, Paimon. <coughs> this is my first time walking around in this city. So no I don't know where to go. Solid practical training. Tea merchant. Can you actually buy tea? Don't miss out on our buy three boxes, get ten percent off. What the buy hell? Four? What is this scam? Oh. <laughs> oh, cloud retainer. Holy, her back. Huh. The way you speak, one might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. Greetings, cloud retainer. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. Ugh. Starting on the elder stuff already, huh? Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite related thingamabob or something? What brings you out here? I want to that huge box next to you. Ah! Paimon gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? What what is that? Is that and a suitcase? The Chishing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. She Did definitely you expect cares one to about willfully that. compete <laughs> against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment, or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? She's probably going to participate in the uh, kite it's thing. Not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver told us, or she has <laughs> something and oh, I can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. Yeah. Anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. They even asked us to pass along the regards if we ran into you. Oh, huh. 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 Did she forget about them? Oh, it appears time has quite flown since <laughs> one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. She did forget about How them. How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? <sighs> One shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. 
A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. It'll be but a moment. Let me go see what she's up to. I'll leave the stop watching to you. Yeah, be fine. Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. Now that sounds promising. One will bring some back for those old fossils. What the movie is watching? Well. <laughs> Two boxes will do. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern right promotion. Oh dear. Like three boxes get ten percent <laughs> off. Four boxes will net you twenty percent off. Yeah. Hmm. Twenty percent off four boxes. This merchant strikes a fair nice bargain. Nice sales strategy. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping too. Then four shall suffice. Hmm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, perhaps I can interest you in these exquisite <laughs> Holy, gift getting sets. ripped off, Buy dude. 10, get half off. Oh, dear. Look at the magnificent design. And the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? Such a <laughs> gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. Hmm, 10 boxes. Seems rather excessive. But if one factors in the conqueror yeah. of demons and one's disciples, hmm. Ten, a nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price for you. Just for you. That is agreeable. <laughs> one will, um, I will have these boxed up then. Of course, of course, right away. What is this dude doing? I see doing? you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. Oh dear. <laughs> Perhaps some of my wares might also be Oh, it's a Fontanian merchant. <laughs> I'm a toy merchant from Fontaine. <laughs> this You'll walks get away. nothing but the finest and most intricate clockwork toys Mora can buy here. Each one sure to be a source of endless amusement. Hmm. Perhaps you could enlighten me then. When should said amusement be derived? Well, uh, that is, of course, <laughs> best understood by playing with them yourself. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out and give you a this demonstration. Looks like boxes. <laughs> what? Huh? It, there is no need for that. Uh, mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model, and be sure to package it securely. What was that? Uh, Did I course. miss something? Here you go. Or was he checking if the I was watching? The instruction manual is. I can do without. Thank you. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be spotted <laughs> purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, she's just embarrassed. The child's okay. Plaything, no less. It would only invite scandal. Why she looks so there cute? There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. Yeah, so she is uh, researching Fontanian technology. I should head back before Shanyun notices. All right. Hopefully, her stuff is not stolen, right? Oh, yep. Shanyun, did your shopping go smoothly? <sighs> Naturally, one may not delight in social interactions. But that does not mean one lacks said faculties. It seems like Shen Yun is easily swayed into buying things. That box looks fit to burst already. And yeah. you too? Are you not here to purchase things? We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around Elong Wharf. But it does look like there are lots of goods from Fontaine. You are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition then? Also, yeah. I mean that yeah, I figured <clears throat> she would. One means to say, you along with all the <laughs> other youths. One has been entreated to share one's kite making expertise, and indeed there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. 
one moment energetic and earnest, and dejected the next. One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests, and thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop to oh. provide personal instruction in this art form. Oh, who will be participating then? Shuyu, Shenhe, Ganyu, and Yayo. Oh. Who is Shuyu? Wow, that's quite a few people. Also, this is all pretty well, Xinyun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. <laughs> you can't just buy I mean, one ready-made yeah. and call it a day. Ha! Huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? <sighs> Tis nothing but a crude piece <laughs> of mortal machinery. The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. It is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. This composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. It is built with a series of intersecting oh rods that... <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better off saving one's breath. It sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. So, will you be attending the workshop or not? Yeah. Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire time? Seems interesting. All right, then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. Nice. One has it all sorted. Arrive at Mount so I guess we will be making uh, kites. I shall be expecting you. There's probably a kite mini game. I imagine. Are you leaving? Don't you want a guide a to kite help making you with that big box of yours? <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one I mean, pleases. I don't think she needs a guard. For what reason would one need to rely on another? Nice. Uh, it can float? What kind of invention is that? One calls it the floating toting What device. the hell is that name? Huh. She seems pretty proud of that one. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident. But everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Paimon wonders... Uh, never mind. But anyway... That box of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty thingamabobs. Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything. She just, uh, okay, got dude. a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon so did went out of her go way through to it. it all together. What will I do about you, Paimon? Oh, Paimon? Shenyun sure does try hard to save yeah. face. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? I'm not yep. bet she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. Sounds like something she would do. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. Mm -hmm. After all, that is the propriety with which one should comport what the oneself. Hell? <laughs> When it comes to an elder, right? Oh, that was part one. Is there a story quest uh, thing? Oh, okay, this is it. So there's the four parts. I believe everything has been unlocked. All right, I think I'm gonna stop right here. We're gonna do act two in another video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like. Let me know what you think about the quest down below. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Dark North. I'll see you in the next one.